Um, hi everyone uh, on, out there on the internet. Um, thought I'd send a little message about uh, the 2008 election and um, who I'm supporting and uh, not supporting, I guess. Um, I come from a small town in a, a northern state that borders Canada. Um, much like another woman we've been hearing about a lot in the news. Um, supposedly, she connects with women like me, um, women who know hockey moms, women who were raised with small town, middle America values, um, but Sarah Palin doesn't. Um, she doesn't connect with the values I learned in my small town um, about uh, the common good and um, working to improve your community, um, taking responsibility for your own choices, and respecting the choices that other people make. Um, her speech at the Republican convention um, was really disappointing to me. I was looking forward to seeing this model of a strong, intelligent woman um, getting up there and making her case for her vision of America and um, you know how we should all be inspired to follow her lead um, into this new opportunity for our country. Um, instead, I heard a lot of tired, old, culture war rhetoric, which really doesn't do our country much good. And um, really, you don't hear people sounding too worried about those issues, except every four years when there's an election to be won. Um, so frankly, I would rather hear about health care or getting us out of this war um, or a lot of other issues that um, someone who's as accomplished as Sarah seems to be should be able to speak to. Um, but apparently we won't be hearing about those anytime soon. Um, the campaign doesn't think that she should talk to the press, um, I guess, until they show a proper amount of deference to her which I guess I'd like to know what amount of deference is proper um, to a public official. Um, which kinds of questions are we allowed to ask? Which kinds of questions aren't we allowed to ask? Um, I think it's scary that we're even having that debate. Um, the press is here to hold politicians accountable. And um, sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> sometimes they ask too many questions that I would rather them not ask, but I'm glad that we live in a country, or at least right now, that sometimes too many questions are a problem rather than not enough questions. So I guess, Sarah, I have a lot of questions for you. And um, until you answer them, you're not my gal.